good morning everyone and now you all must be thinking that who this man is and why is his picture along with the picture of a railway station put on the front screen so let us discuss all these questions by beginning our morning tales for june 26 2019 so this man who is also known as the green man of Gujarat he has recently initiated a project or an initiative to make the Udna railway station India's first green and clean railway station the picture of this railway station is of the Udna railway station and this man that is Viral Sudhir Bhai Desai has recently embarked on an initiative to make the Udna railway station India's first green and clean railway station. So now where is this Udna railway station located? So this Udna railway station is located in Surat in Gujarat. So now another important fact about this news only is that he has so far installed over 1700 air purifying plants at the station and also he has painted the walls of the station with the graffiti of environmental protection. So let's move on to the first question of today's morning tales. The question is which state has launched the Mukhya Mantri Yuva Sambal Yojana? So this Mukhya Mantri Yuva Sambal Yojana is also known as the Berozgari Bhatta and recently the state of Rajasthan has launched this Mukhya Mantri Yuva Sambal Yojana. Basically this Yojana has been announced in the month of February itself in this year but the guidelines for the same has been issued recently. So that is why this Yojana is so much in the news. So under this scheme, the government of Rajasthan has decided to pay a sum of 3500 rupees per month to girls and 3000 monthly unemployment allowance to boys in the state. Now the basic eligibility condition to become eligible for this scheme is to be a graduate. So another criteria for being eligible to, for this scheme is that the family income of the candidate should not be more than rupees 2 lakhs. So that is also the another eligibility criteria for this Mukhya Mantri Yuva Sambal Yojana. Now, Rajasthan is not the only state which has launched such kind of unemployment allowance scheme. There are other states as well, such as Madhya Pradesh, which has announced to launch its Vivekanand Yuva Shakti mission, which is being planned to be launched in the state by the government. So now guys, the question for you is that who is the chief minister of Rajasthan? So do mention your answers in the comment section below. So let's discuss the second question of today's morning tales. So USMC the replacement of NAFTA is a trilateral free trade agreement between which countries? So there are five options on the screen. Out of these five options, it is the option C that is USA, Mexico and Canada is the right answer. The full form of this USMCA trade agreement is US-Mexico-Canada agreement. And this US-Mexico-Canada agreement is the replacement or we can also say that it is the modernized version of NAFTA. So what is NAFTA? NAFTA is the North American Free Trade Agreement. So NAFTA was between these three countries only which allowed these three countries to trade smoothly among themselves. So now this NAFTA has been replaced with this new agreement or the modernized agreement which includes greater incentives for automotives, intellectual property protection acts as well as this new agreement also grants USA a greater degree of access to the Canadian dairy market. Now, why this USMCA or this new agreement is in the news? So this USMCA is in the news because Mexico has become the first country to adopt the US-Mexico-Canada agreement. Before this move, this agreement was only signed by all the signatories but was not ratified. So with Mexico ratifying the agreement, so it has become implemented. So now friends, the task for you is that you have to name all these three important personalities in the comment section below. So these three men are the respective presidents of these three nations. So I think I have given you these hints to answer the question smoothly. So moving on to the next question, who is India's representative to the Council of International Civil Aviation Organization? So recently, this woman has been appointed as the representative of India to the Council of International Civil Aviation. Now, what is this International Civil Aviation Organization? 
सो दिस इज अन एजेंसी विच रेग्युलेट और एडमिनिस्टर्स दी सिविल एविएशन ऑपरेशन वर्ल्ड वाइड सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ रेगुलेटरी बॉडी विच मैनेज इज दी ऑपरेशन ऑफ सिविल एविएशन नाउ हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव सो द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज शेफाली जुनेजा सो शी हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज दी इंडिया रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ थ्री ईयर्स सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो मूविंग फर्दर विद दिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इट इज सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग साउथ ईस्ट एशियन कंट्रीज इज नॉट a part of the e2020 initiative of who so now what is this e2020 initiative so in order to eliminate the malaria completely from the globe world health organization had set up an agenda to at least make 10 countries in the world completely malaria free that is with zero indigenous malaria cases by 2020 you can also remember this thing from the name itself that e stands for elimination 2020 is the target year and elimination of what elimination of malaria i believe that it is a an easier way to re- remember this e2020 initiative so who has selected around 21 countries in the world and on the basis of their potential to fight back the malaria or to eliminate the malaria completely from their land so out of these 21 countries it is china iran malaysia timor leste and el salvador let's get back to the answer of this question so the answer of this question is india india is not a part of this e2020 initiative though india accounts for a large number of malaria cases yet it is not a part of this initiative because this who's e2020 initiative takes into consideration those countries only which have the potential to eliminate the malaria completely by 2020 at least the indigenous cases by 2020 so unfortunately india is not a part of this e2020 initiative so with this said let's move on to the next question of our morning tales what is the official name of the indian air force balakot strike mission so i hope all of us remember this balakot strike mission which was the aftermath of pulwama attack in february so recently indian air force has revealed that it has named the balakot strike mission as operation bandar no official rationally has been provided by indian air force behind naming the strike mission as operation bandar so guys can you identify these aircrafts which had been used in the february 2019 air strike so if you can identify these aircraft so do mention your answers in the comment section below so let's move on to the next question which state has launched the chulha free and smoke free scheme so there are five options and it is the state of maharashtra which has launched this scheme and this scheme aims to cover those women who have not been covered under the pm ujwala yojana so now the question for you is when pm ujwala yojana was launched and with this let's move on to the last question of today's morning tale where was the third indo french cyber dialogue concluded so during this dialogue india and france have decided to cooperate in the field of cyber crime as well as combat the spread of terrorism through cyber space so that was the agenda of this third indo french cyber dialogue and uh, during this dialogue both the countries have decided to fight back or cooperate in fighting the uh, cyber crime as well as terrorism spread on the cyber space so do mention your answers in the comment section below that in which city was this third indo french cyber dialogue concluded thank you so much for watching our video and guys if you have learned anything from the video do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notifications thank you so much for watching the video